Roche Laboratories has just launched a new miracle COVID-19 drug in India. It is called Regen COV2. It is basically a cocktail of monoclonal antibodies containing two drugs, Caserivimab and Imdevimab. This is the same drug which was given to the erstwhile president of the United States, Donald Trump, when he contracted COVID-19. It was at that time still in the experimental phase. In today's video, I am going to tell you how this drug works, for whom is this drug, the side effects of the drug and one very big caveat of this drug. Regen COV2 is made up of two basic drugs, Casirivimab and Imdevimab. These are both monoclonal antibodies. So what are monoclonal antibodies? For the sake of simplicity, monoclonal antibodies are antibodies made in a laboratory. Let me explain to you a little bit of how these monoclonal antibodies work. Antibodies are made to neutralize the antigen of a foreign organism. In this case, a foreign organism and enemy is a SARS-CoV-2 virus. The SARS-CoV-2 virus has four main antigens. The spike protein antigen, the nucleocaspid antigen, the membrane antigen and the envelope antigen. The spike protein is the appendage the SARS-CoV-2 virus uses to attach itself to the ACE2 receptors in the cells of our body. So it is in our best interest that we neutralize this spike protein. I am just going to explain to you first how antibodies behave when you administer convalescent plasma. Convalescent plasma is got from a patient who has already recovered from COVID-19 and has already produced natural antibodies. When the patient is administered convalescent plasma, he receives all four types of antibodies. Antibodies to the spike protein, to the nucleocaspid, to the membrane and to the envelope. Here there is no guarantee of the concentration of antibodies to the spike protein. The concentration of spike protein antibodies may be high or may be low. So the effectiveness of convalescent plasma cannot be guaranteed. Monoclonal antibodies are engineered to neutralize the spike protein. So if we give monoclonal antibodies, we ensure a high concentration of spike protein antibodies. But there is one problem here. By giving only one type of monoclonal antibodies, we are giving the virus a chance to mutate. However, in the case of Regen COV2, it is a cocktail of antibodies, basically of two drugs, Casirivimab and Imdevimab. Therefore, because we are giving two types of monoclonal antibodies to the spike protein of the virus, there is a lesser chance of mutations. This drug has to be administered to you in a hospital, but you do not require any hospitalization. It will be administered to you in a span of half an hour intravenously. After that, you will be kept waiting for another one hour in the premises of the hospital just to see whether you are getting an allergic reaction. And then you can go home and consider yourself to be cured from COVID-19. That said, this drug has got an efficacy of around 70 to 80 percent. That is what we know until now. So who is eligible for this drug? There is a very specific set of guidelines laid down for the eligibility criteria for this drug. It is basically people with very high comorbidities. To be eligible for this drug, you should be obese, have chronic kidney disease, uncontrolled diabetes, have immunosuppressive disorders such as HIV, are currently receiving immunosuppressive treatment, as may happen if one has cancers, are over the age of 65 or are over the age of 55 and have cardiovascular disease, hypertension, COPD or any other respiratory disorder. I will put up a link to the fact sheet down in the description box below, so please do check it out later. Before we get into the side effects of this drug, one very important thing to note is this drug has to be given within the first 10 days of illness. The earlier you give this drug during your illness, ideally in the first 5 days, the more effective this drug is. This drug is for use only in people with mild disease. It cannot be given to people having moderate or severe disease. So if a person is admitted in the hospital and is under oxygen therapy, he absolutely cannot receive this drug. The most common side effects reported from this drug are nausea, vomiting, hyperglycemia that means your blood sugar goes out of control and pneumonia. And of course, like with any drug, there is always a risk of having an allergic reaction. Coming to the caveats of this drug, as I mentioned earlier, this drug can only be used in very mild disease, hence it has a very specific use case scenario. The second caveat of this drug is that it is very very expensive. This drug costs Rs. 60,000 per dose. Yes, you heard right. 
it costs rupees 60000 per dose so it is definitely not a drug for everybody i hope this video has given you some value and if it did give me a like subscribe down below if you haven't already i'll be seeing you in the next one signing out dr rohan fonseca